Hey, hey, crafty peeps. I am here with a Tuesday morning haul. I bet you're surprised. Probably not, huh? Okay, so I wasn't all that excited about the ad for Sunday. Like, I was totally going to go. Don't get me wrong, Rosie, if you're laughing at me, you could stop because I was like, I'm going to be there at 11. But I didn't think I'd actually find a lot of things that I wanted. But, um, yeah, I think I did. So I'm going to try and go through this as quickly as possible and um, show you what I found. A lot of it is similar to what I've been seeing you guys found and then there's some things that I thought were really cool and I wanted to share with you. And I have to admit I broke down and bought some Prima flowers. I know I wasn't gonna do it but I'll show you why because I thought of a really cool idea. So first and foremost I found this. So this was a dollar fifty and this is a three ring binder. It's huge, huge. Hello. So let's open this up real quick. And I will. So apparently you can alter it and do all kinds of things to the outside just like you could a regular smash book, right? I have to admit, how many stores did I go to? Um, three. I've been three Tuesday mornings since Sunday. And it wasn't because I meant to. I just happened to be in the area. So this has this right here. Of course you can color it if you want to, but it's canvas. Then it's got this chipboard. Ooh, sounds like me when I wake up. <laughs> what about you guys? So this is just rubbish. You just throw that in the trash. And it's got the three hooks here so you can alter it however you want. And it's got this cute little pen holder here. And that's, I mean, it just looks like a regular binder, which is what I was curious. I was wondering if this part here stayed, but it does not. So it's just a binder. You can do whatever you want with this. You could even make this into your, what is that called? Christmas daily? That's right. Could happen. I know it's black, but I've seen some Christmas paper with black in it. Just a thought. So that was kind of cool. Um, I also found this cute little mini one. This was the only smash book I actually bought besides that binder, which I don't think counts. Um, it's a 3D mini book, and I had never, ever seen mini. I did buy a whole bunch of the other ones, you know, back when they were, were first coming out. I did buy a bunch, and have I used them? Maybe one. But look right here. Look at that. This is 3D. So in the back, there's some 3D glasses. So I'm still trying to decide if I want to uh, give this to somebody that I know, some little guy I know, as a gift, because he does like to write stories and stuff like that and he likes 3d so I'm thinking that that's probably what's going to end up happening because I did only buy one there was two I only bought one which proud and it does come with the the pen on the top and the glue at the bottom $1.99 can't go wrong this is the only smash book mini that I have seen you ladies let me know if you found anything besides a 3d one the I did see one bigger one, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, but again, those are the only two. Most of it was just the gadgets and gizmos that go with it. I grabbed these little market tags because I thought that they would be really convenient and easy to have when I wanted to show you what a spray looks like. So that's why I really grabbed them. And you get 50 pieces for $1.99. I don't know. That was a pretty good deal. I also found these lovely sprays that are not, supposedly, not glittery, but matte. Matte mist watercolor. So let's see here. You probably want to see this. So this is the teal, and this is the number. This one is the brown. I don't think it says like a name. That's that number. And look at that. They're all the same numbers. This one's the red. So why am I showing you individually? I don't know. I think it's funny how Tuesday morning does that. Some things are different. Some things are not. They also had a like a purplish magenta. A blue. There's one more color. I can't remember what it was. So let's test this one out and see what we think. So, 
first and foremost, let's just do some splitters. Nice action there. There is no glitter. Look at that. Beautiful. So for those of you who don't want glitter, these ones really, really don't have it. Let's try one more just to make sure. One of the ladies in Tuesday morning today, we were having a discussion on if they had glitter in them or not. She was sure that um, one of them did, but I'm not sure which color. I think it was the red. So let's check the red. No glitter. Oh, excuse me. Broken now. So, I'm pretty satisfied in thinking that these are definitely matte. Probably should have picked up the other ones. But, that's okay. Because I think you could watercolor with them. Like it says on there, just dip your paintbrush in it and all kinds of stuff. But, I'm sure, I'm sure I can try and go back and get them. I also found this lovely for $1.99 shake me up um perfect pearls mist and i grabbed it because of the beautiful perfect copper color i swear if it says copper or coffee i don't know i can't i can't stop myself let's see how hard this one's to get into Ooh. Let's grab a new one. Oh, yeah. I know the lighting is not the best today. It is raining. It is gloomy. And then when I put on more lights, a beautiful shadow comes. But I think you guys can... S oh. Let's let that dry and come back to that. But that is... Really, really pretty. But I'll come back to that one. That one dries a little bit more. Take another peek. But for $1.99, I was like, yes, please. And it just hopped in the bag. I don't know how that happened. Here's this one. I would give up chocolate, but I'm not a quitter. That was $1.99. As if you could read backwards, but there you have the sizes. And then I also saw this, which was super cute, $1.99. Is that by American Craft? Look at that, super cute. There's a number again, in case you want it. And they are not the same. So I was pretty happy with those two stamps. I feel like they've been really like impressive with some of the stamps they've been having for the what for 99 cents and 199 I saw this for 49 cents and it is one piece and it's a band it doesn't look that impressive does it however it is a band meant to go around a smash book and then it's got these cute little slots in here where you can put pens or Copics, or highlighters, or friction pins that erase, and it goes around. And I was like, now that's kind of cool. Because what I like to use for my planner is this little bag that I picked up at Michael's, right? So I started to wonder, would this fit this? Guess what? It does. I'm thinking that if it can fit this, that it can fit a sketchbook, it can fit anything you want it to do, and it holds these pens in there for you. One, two, three, four, five, six slots. Where you can put pens as big as Copic markers. So for 49 cents, oh, that was a really good deal, and wish I would have grabbed more than two, because I'm sure I know a couple people that would have liked to have them. So I'll have to see if I can get some more. But that... And it, yes, it does have this cute little thing, but you can clip that off if you want. 
if you're not a smasher. I think it would be perfectly fine. So I just thought that was kind of a cool little nifty idea. Which brings me to the smash book that I did see there. This is the only one I saw. And it's this beautiful teal. It does not have the SKU number because I purchased this a year ago at TJ Maxx. Let's see. Here's my receipt. TJ Maxx. And it was actually purchased over a year ago. This was in January of 1915. Isn't that crazy? And it was for the same price. $3.99. Don't ask me, but the receipt was in the book. I don't know why. <laughs> but that that's not usually the case. I usually don't keep them there. But so this is a um a baby style one. And like I said, this is the only one that I have seen there. Let's give you a real quick fit, flip through, but this is not um new by any means. Still cute. But very cool. So like I said, I did expect more smash books, but honestly, it's really okay because I really didn't need any more because honestly, I have probably five I haven't finished, completed, maybe even started, if I'm honest. I think I started one. So, those were the only ones there, and now I get to show you this. Let's see if this is dried. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so that perfect pearl one, that one was this one right here. Perfect copper. That one's very pretty. Now let's check these out and make sure there's no glitter. Nope. Perfectly perfect mats. So if you're interested in those, I hadn't seen these. Maybe I'm late to the game here. But it does say that they just came out, so I don't know. I honestly haven't been looking at them for the longest time because I've been trying to stay away from um, those because I haven't been using the ones I have. But when I saw those, I don't know. I had to have them. So let's get going with all of this lovely, you know what? I wanna do one more thing real quick first. Let me do the Puma flowers before we start with the smash book. Cause then I'm just gonna show you very quickly cause like I said, a lot of these things have been in other people's hauls. So I broke down and, and bought these. Um, I know I said I have enough and I do, but I thought of something that was really cool. This one, honestly, I just thought it would be cute to have because I don't think I had that color. But these ones, I, I wasn't gonna buy them because I don't really like these centers. I really just, I'm not a big stand fan. And so I was hesitating on that. And then I thought about how pretty this black with the feather would look. If it had, a, if I took these out, just rip these bad boys out, just like that, just take them right out, and then glue this down. And that just totally changes the whole flower. And, and these are some of the, um, the gemstones from Marion Smith, or this one. Oh, I like this one better, I think. Same color, but it's a bit more iridescent, I think, because it doesn't have that backing. So, I don't know. I just thought it would be an interesting way to try it, and then I could use them. And then I thought maybe I could do the same with these ones right here. I should show you the SKU number. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about ripping the stamens out. But maybe, just maybe. So, if you guys have gems at home, which... As crafters, I'm sure you do, right? It's not really that hard to rip these out right here. Let's see if I have something a little bit smaller. Ooh, there's a big one right there. Look at that one. This one's got that little piece there. And I'm sure if I sit down to do this that I will think of even more things put behind there. Like that. Bird nest. I don't think I like that very much. I 
Oh, it's a little heart. I thought I had a rounder one. Oh, there's a... Mm, probably not the right size. But... Let me put another flower. I don't think so. Oh, that's pretty. Not the right color. But pretty. So, you see what I mean? You, the, the possibilities are endless here. Just if you don't like this flower, just think about what... Ripping it apart and making it yours. Maybe some lace, a little bit of lace behind this. I don't know. Like I said, the possibilities are endless. So here's the SKU number for the white. This one is for the black one. Hold on. I think I told you, misled you. Yeah, there we go. So this one is for the black one. This one is for the brown one. And the blue. So, just some thoughts from my head. <laughs> okay, and then here is all the goodies that I found. So here's the number, and these are just little page flags. These are a different kind of page flags. These are more, um, like vintage looking and you don't honestly get a ton on there right you're just getting a little bit but it's nice sometimes it's nicer to have a little bit you don't feel like you have to get through all of it so this is pockets so this looks like jean and it's so cute i want to put it in my pocket and it looks like you get You get that one, you get this one, and I was wondering, there is no adhesive on the back, so you just use your own adhesive, and you can pop that right into the front, or even on a page, right? It doesn't have to be in the front, but that's kind of what I was thinking, is in the front, because if you do put use it on a page, which you perfectly will fit perfectly on there, it does make it a little bit heavier, so... And then you get four pieces. So let's see what else is there. Goodness inside, precious treasures. They all have much the gusset, but they're very cool. It will come in handy. All right, and then I found some of these rub-ons for 49 cents. Some of these for 49 cents, and these are just little page tabs. So you get quite a bit here. They're stapled right there. And you just detach them and rip them from here. And there's no adhesive, so you can use whatever you like. Or you can even have it hanging off the side and not worry about the adhesive um, getting all over everything. This was really cute. 79 cents for this washi tape. Now this isn't really true washi tape. It's actually like um, clear. Like just tape, right? Scotch tape. And then it's on this little well thing. What is this little well thing? So it's, you know, plastic. And then right here on the mustache, it's got a little tape cutter. So you can put it there, and then when you're done with this roll, you can switch it out. So it's kind of cute. It's actually really cute for 79 cents. So I must admit, I grabbed two. Repurchase, 99 cents. This is great for, you guys know, gesso and stenciling. I grabbed these for 49 cents, not because I wanted to label me so much, but because of, they look like candy canes. How perfect. Here's 49 cents. These are some bags. 
comes with five pieces of variant shapes, various sizes. All of this stuff, obviously, you guys know that you don't have to use in a smash book. You can use it in a mini book, in a layout, in anything that you so desire. Perfect match. So it's 3D. Pops up, and then it's got these little things where it says, I just love, and you can write whatever you want on there. And cute Valentine's card or two of those. So this was 79 cents and this is rub-ons. This is a big sheet. It's only one sheet. But it has lots and lots of anchors. I don't know what that says. Ah, good stuff. Very cool. I saw this for 99 cents and thought that that was kind of neat too because basically it turns any smash book. How does that turn any smash book into a lock? It doesn't look like. Oh, you have to adhere it. Okay. So you just use your own adhesive on the sides. I was like, that's not long enough to go all the way around. And then it becomes a lock, like a journal. That makes so much more sense now, because I was like, what is that? They had some bookmarks for 49 cents right there. Is where you can put it in the page, and he uses his tie. And again, these are different numbers. I think it's so funny how they do that. They pick and choose. This one, again, great price. Um, this is a slider. So in the store, I had no idea what that meant. But basically, if you adhere it here and here, and you just put it in your wherever you want on any kind of page. Hello. As I bend it. It worked before. Why is it not working? Oh, because it's too far down. I'm grabbing the wrong piece. <laughs> it just slides on. So you would attach this little piece in the cloud. And then this can go up or down. As you can see, I was curious, but only about one. <laughs> so I think it'll make a cute little entry into something. Uh, right here, 99 cents. These are the little dividers that you can add things into your book. It's got some adhesive. You just pull up the tab, press down what you want to add to your smash book. You got some pockets here, 79 cents. You get three pieces. This one's 79 cents as well. And you get three pieces here. These are uh, vertical and these are horizontal. Also found this, which was not a smash book. Two ninety nine for this die. It's pretty long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not quite eight inches long, but it comes with this long outline banner, and then it's got that embossing part as well. And that was just in the middle of all the smash book stuff. I know, very interesting. And then, of course, I found tons of these. And they have different numbers. Let's take a better look at these real quick. So this one says entertainment, and it's the orange one. And I think they're just like little prompts and you can just put them in any kind of art journal or, or smash book. So top 10. So this is a list of 10. They all have 10. This one is past, present, and future. 
things I know. And this one is family. Travels. If you guys want a closer look at these, please just leave a comment below and I will happily open them up and take more time, but we're already at 25 minutes. And this one is activity. And this is cool because it's got like crosswords, hangman, tic-tac-toe. Um, so you can put those in you know, your journal and then go and do them when you're bored in a car. Maybe. I'm thinking of my son. And the last but not least, by any means, was these kits. And these kits were $4.99. And I just thought that they were really cool. In fact, we picked this one up. My daughter is doing a uh, Christmas gift for an orphanage close by. And they they didn't really want toys. They don't want toys. They wanted clothes and maybe books or something. And I thought this would be really neat. It was only $4.99. So it wasn't, you know, that tough to swallow. But it's a journal. And it's got two washi tapes in there and then it's got these little notepads and it's got the pen and it's got the glue and oh, I thought it was really cool. So let me go ahead and open this. This is an extra one. Hers is already at the school for her. Wrapped and ready to go. So you get this cute little smash book with this little pen and glue. For those of you who don't know, this side is glue. So you can stick whatever you like down in your book. And this side is pin. Go so stinking cute. And so it's got a little pocket here on this side. It's got these cute pages for you to journal and stick whatever you want in here so that you can remember it. It's so dang magical. It's so cute. That's a really neat gift. And then you get this one, which I did not see in any of the ones that I purchased. So you get three of each. And then these are pockets. You get two of each of these, it looks like. So those ones are plain. And then these ones say, seal me up. And you can put something in there. And then glue this into your book. You want to keep a little... I don't know, I think these would make little cute little things. And these are actual washi instead of the scotch tape. And this one looks like, oh, cute. It's got lots of stuff on there. And then these cute little tags and this little notepad there for this one. And then this one right here is about cooking. As you can see. So it comes with a pin. Come and give it a little pocket. Right. Watermelon's awesome. So if you have a child who's into 
cooking or if you have just a girly girl. The other one I would say is perfect. But everything in this one is about pretty, as you can see. So fresh, looking sharp. Your menu. And again, these are washy. I think this one's chew the fat so they are not the same as the other ones. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. And everything in a nutshell. These are little pockets again. And daily grind. Secret family recipe. So cute. I don't know. I think those are uh, definitely a good little gift to add into anything you might possibly want to give to somebody or, you know, just on their own. I think they're super cute. So I hope you guys found something here that you might be interested in. Um, and I hope it wasn't too long for you because seriously, if you hung out for this full 31 minutes, you guys are awesome. Awesome. So Thank you for hanging out with me and I hope you found something you might like or some idea that you might incorporate and you got the SKU number. Again, the phone number will be in the down bar as usual so that you can call and see if it's in your area. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.